anyone has ever done capacity planning so capacity planning is to come up with the proper servers that would be required in production right Capacity required. Infrastructure, you don't configure the machine and install the servers, but you have to tell how much your application requires. What what kind of DB computing, yeah, what kind of app server, what kind of web server machines you require precisely. Okay. Um, there are a couple of ways to do this. One is what we call ballpark estimates. This is upfront before the project we do, just to give an assessment of investment to the customer. But that's uh, it's kind of a rough estimate. So based on uh, historical data, based on generally what is the trend in the industry, right? Based on that knowledge, we can give something. Uh, but other one is when the functionality is ready, more or less, major functionality is ready. You do load testing and estimate exact requirement of the capacity. Okay. So that's also a process, step by step process. So we will do that process. First step uh, in capacity planning is capture user projections, J meter, load runner, whatever it is. So what this uh, vertical line indicates, yesterday we, we understood this terminology. It's throughput. This is throughput. This one. Okay, so see the here is what the heavy load zone, but I continued up to here in the heavy load zone. Is the right step or should I have stopped here and say this configuration supports only 200 users? We need more machines to support 5,000. Yeah, yeah, really so up to buckle zone, yeah. but did we go to buckle zone here? There is no buckle zone. There is, it's not visible. But I didn't go, that's why it's not visible. Yeah. I stopped it. Yeah. Why did yeah. I stop there? Yeah. So response time limit is two seconds for me. Right? After entering the heavy load zone, response time increases. When I entered into heavy load zone, what is the response time? It was milliseconds. Some three hundred milliseconds. And you need to decide where what maximum yeah two seconds we know that right we document it in our capacity planning so up to two seconds i can go so i can't say the customer only 200 users i will support or let me see how many i can support because customers can tolerate some response time right up to two seconds they can wait so then i i started pushing more and more load then i i also noticed the response time is increasing but anyway buckle zone i haven't reached but fine, if I reach buckle zone before this, I should have stopped. Sure. <clears throat> now, um, adding more resources, we can we can add more CPU, more power, or we can add more machines. What is it called? What kind of scaling it is if you add more CPU, more power? Are replaced with a bigger machine. What scaling it is? You know vertical scaling, right? If you add one more machine in addition to what is there, it is called horizontal scaling. Which one is better? Always. No, 
so there are three things cost maintenance and availability right so cost is a uh, initially when you buy so what if i made it to one more server to improve the availability how much it comes what is availability now 99.9 so it comes 99.9 right so by third server what is the availability i brought 0.9% percent roughly translates to 3 days of business right so i have to see next one probably one node yeah. investing maintenance 3 days of business is so at some point you stop horizontal is enough if i need more power start growing vertically right so it's always a combination of vertical and horizontal so you need to choose how much vertical how much horizontal right